Taking the law into your own hands is wrong. This illegal strike is not acceptable and would be dealt with in accordance to the law. So by taking matters into their own hands, the drivers have clearly crossed the line. These workers have disrupted public transport services and Singapore's industrial harmony. The government views these disruptions very seriously. We have zero tolerance for such unlawful action because disrupted essential services I think affect not only the workers in the industry but affect the lives of all Singaporeans and everyone in the community. Acting Minister for Manpower Tan Chuan Jin said on Tuesday the action of the 102 SMRT bus captains on Monday was an illegal strike. On Monday morning, 102 SMRT drivers who are from China refused to report for work, citing unhappiness over their salaries and living conditions. Although the drivers agreed to return to work on Tuesday after negotiations with SMRT management on Monday, 88 drivers did not do so on Tuesday. Public transport services like those provided by SMRT are listed under essential services under the Criminal Law Temporary Provisions Act or CLTPA. Now, strikes are illegal for workers in essential services unless they give the employer 14 days' notice of the intent to go on strike and they comply with the requirements of the notice. Under Chapter 67 of the Singapore Statutes, the Criminal Law Temporary Provisions Act, Section 9, Subsection 1, any workman who commences, continues, or otherwise acts in furtherance of a strike which is illegal shall be guilty of an offence and shall be liable on conviction to a fine not exceeding $2,000 or to imprisonment for a term not exceeding 12 months, or to both. The police is currently investigating this illegal strike. Um, there are rules and laws to follow, and we will let the investigations run its course. Now, MOM understands that the bus drivers do have grievances. They have surfaced them. Now, we expect SMRT to address the grievances raised, and SMRT should also work with the union to address these issues. However, I would like to emphasize that regardless of the grievances, what the workers have done is illegal. Minister of State for Transport, Josephine Teo, provided an update on the public transport situation on Tuesday. Now, despite the action of uh, this group of uh, SMRT bus drivers, all bus services continue to run. All commuters were able to take their usual services. Yesterday, SMRT was able to maintain services at about 90% of normal levels. And today, with some of the drivers returning to work, SMRT was able to restore services to about 95% of normal levels. The National Trades Union Congress, or NTUC, issued a statement on Tuesday that it supports the actions taken by the government and that it is important to send a clear signal to all workers that as a nation ruled by law, there are proper ways of dealing with issues and disagreement. NTUC said that any action that is illegal must and will be dealt with firmly, regardless of whether the workers are local or foreign. NTUC also said that it hopes such an incident will not be repeated. It stated that management must maintain an open line of communication with their workers especially those who are not union members, and workers must recognise that there is a right and proper way to add their grievances, and these should be adhered to. Meanwhile, the National Transport Workers' Union has offered to continue working with SMRT management to address the issues faced by the Chinese drivers. Watch our other clips for the full press conference on the SMRT bus driver's illegal strike.